is LeBron. He posted this on Instagram, these photos of him and AI, but he captioned the post, pound for pound, congrats, homie. What a pleasure to compete against you and also become a friend in the process. You the reason why I got tattoos, wore a headband and an arm sleeve. Mm. Thanks for everything. Hashtag AI the GOAT. Hashtag Bubba Chuck, his nickname. Hashtag HOF next, as in Hall of Fame. Now, Kobe, he also Instagrammed something similar. Kobe, he said in his post, your game pushed my then 21-year-old self to play beyond my years. Your impact on the game will be felt for generations. Now, Mike, Call me crazy, and you've done it many times, but it feels like to me Allen Iverson had more of an impact on today's generation of players than, dare I say, Michael Jordan. I'm not going to call you crazy. I'm just going to call you wrong. Okay. Uh, because remember, I'll take that. everybody <laughs> wanted to be like Mike, and when you talk about an icon, both on and off the court, nobody compares to Michael Jordan, who many consider to be the GOAT. I mean, it, people like Kobe patterned his game. I mean, everything Kobe says, does, walks, talks, acts, thinks is Michael Jordan-esque, okay? He's the person that everybody wanted to be like, hit the game winning shot like him, have their tongue out, uh, you know, or come, go, come fly with me. Space Jam, which you still haven't seen, that's another <laughs> conversation. Bottom line is, a more of an impact on this generation of players, no. But an impact nonetheless, and if you want to say, that he was more, he wasn't more revered, but if you want to say he was more beloved, I'll give you that. As respected, I'll give you that, because as, as LeBron alluded to, the way AI carried himself, you know, against, you know, what, what the norm was. So he, he, was, he was a rebel in, in a lot of ways, okay? The way he dressed, the way he wore his hair, the way he played, the, for all those reasons, he was a, cult a cultural icon and a cultural touchstone. Yeah, but you, you hit on something, though. I think it's relatability. And mm -hmm. while a lot of people want to be like Jordan because I think the success, I think because of the money being known as, as the uh, greatest of all time, all valid reasons, but I think players saw more of themselves in Allen Iverson. Oh, because, for sure. I mean, he's a young guy. Young African-American players young growing Afri up in the hip-hop generation? Thank you. Absolutely. And, and he's also somebody who came from really tough circumstances, who made himself into a player when his physical size says he shouldn't be as tough oh as he God, was. Oh, my God. so much fun to watch. The way that he run. played with the, uh, a sense of emotion. And I think even for a guy like LeBron, who's always done things the right way, and I think LeBron has always felt more pressure to, to be conform to conform bit. and to be the, this marketing mm -hmm. package and AI never he felt care. He, he didn't, didn't his care. Way. You like, see, love him look, he's him. 40 years old. He wearing cornrows. And a lot of a lot of people in Philly didn't like his act. And look how beloved he is now. Going to your point about how small he is. This is my favorite stat about AI. A lot of people talk about the, the practice rant, but in that rant he said, "The game I'll die for." I didn't realize this cat led the league in minutes per game seven times. Yeah. He averaged 41.1 minutes per game for his career, fourth all time. This dude is like. 180 pounds soaking no, wet. No, he's not even 180. He, you know why he wear all them chains in those Tims? So he could be, weigh 170 pounds. Pretty much. That's why, I mean, unbelievable how he threw his body around. So yes, did people appreciate him as much as Jordan in our generation? Yes, but more of an impact, I'm sorry. Well, and then we look at the history of, of African-American athletes and the way they've been portrayed and revered. Like, there's a reason why many more athletes, I think, identify with, say, Muhammad Ali. Right. And to them, Allen Iverson was cutting that mold brash, one outspoken, kind. one of a kind. Well, we even, it's it's got to be the shoes, though. We got to bring up the shoes. Yo, the, the, the three the question. But wait, underrated shoes. No, but we're underrated, but nobody was camping outside of Foot Locker for the questions. Look, they were looking for, they were checking for I Jordans still today. Fair. They go hard. <laughs> okay. Is Allen Iverson more revered than Michael Jordan by today's players? Guess what? The numbers say yes. Judging by players who wear their uniform numbers, there are currently 24 players in the NBA wearing Iverson's number three. Just seven, just seven, where Jordan's iconic number 23. So that's. But the Heat retired it. He ain't <laughs> never played for the Heat. That's well, Jordan's impact. I know.